you ever had a haircut that completely transformed your look? I had one where good friends literally walked past me not knowing who I was. Transforming our looks is relatively easy, but transforming our hearts, that's a whole different ball game. But it's one that God specialises in. God's gospel completely transforms us. Paul knew this personally and he writes in Galatians that we are new creations. New in what way? Well, new in character, new in action, new in priority, and that's just for starters. But God's gospel doesn't just transform individuals, it's way more powerful than that. God's gospel has the power to transform families, communities, towns, cities, countries and ultimately the world. We read in the book of Acts of God's kingdom spreading quickly through the whole known world. What would it look like for God's kingdom to come here on London Road in Ipswich? in our neighbourhoods, in our workplaces, in our schools and in the hairdressers. What does it mean to see God's kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven? At Burlington over this autumn term, with Acts as our guide, we're going to look at what it means to have a global gospel. What does it mean to have a gospel for the whole person and for the whole world? What part do we have to play in God's plan for this world? What can we learn from others around the world? What does it mean to be gospel people in our communities, in this town, in this country and the world? Together, through our Sunday mornings, our small groups and our devotional time, we're going to look at what it means to have a global gospel. It'll change our world. <laughs>